Hello, Bridget. How are you? Mm -hmm. Carla, how are you? I am good. You? Very good. Carla, do you like to draw? To draw? No. No, no. my brother likes to draw. Oh, ah, okay. It's uh -huh. because... I look in your wall and have a lot of artistic flowers and butterflies. Uh -huh. and flowers, no, yes. butterflies and, and birds. Uh -huh, butterflies. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, um, my brother likes to, to draw. Uh -huh. uh, he has many, many things in his uh, bedroom, in his room. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. Is... I like to take uh, photos. Okay, so in this moment, you are in your room or your brother's room? In mine. In your room, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about your photos? You don't have the the pictures of your photos. I have some right here. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I see them. Okay, you took the pictures. Yes, I took the pictures. Uh -huh. I like to... Take picture for nature because I like to walk a lot in uh, forest. Great. Well, exactly like that. Like I am asking Carla, we're going to ask our partners. We have five minutes and we want to discuss a little bit more about your partner. Know about your job, your profession, about hobbies personalities, what you like, when you like. And the idea is continue conversation, not answer questions. Have an interaction, have a conversation. It's okay? Okay. Yes. Yes? Okay. Let's practice. Have a normal conversation. No, what's your name? How old are you? No, no. No, find out about like a social. If you go to a party, you go to a place the social information. Any vocabulary, any words before we begin? No. No? Okay, excellent. Then let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Let's ask those questions. Right, Bridget, do you have any problems? Bridget? Hey, Nelda. Hi, teacher. Okay, so Nelda, in this moment, we're going to go to our groups with our partners and we're going to ask social questions. What are your hobbies? How often do you do them? Things like this, right? Not okay. focusing professional, focusing social. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, here is the link for the group. Click to join the group.
Okay, any questions? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Great. So in this moment, we are in the groups and we're going to ask social questions, examples about hobbies, activities, frequency, what you like and don't like, not about the job, about social. Okay, Eric? About our life. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Hello, how are you? Yes, yes. Uh, I going to into. No problem. In this moment, we are going to ask our partners social questions, questions about activity, things like that. Okay. Maybe you have. Elvis, you connect your headphones? Yes. Okay, excellent. Because it is, uh, your, the people in your area speak very loudly. Okay. All right. Don't worry. <laughs> we try. There we go. Okay, great. Oh, any questions, any words you don't know or are not sure how to say? No, teacher. No? No, any. Excellent. All right. Let's see if we understand a couple of things. Let's take a look. Javier, tell me something about your partners. Javier, uh, mm -hmm. I, I hear that my my partners uh, live in Chalatenango and they uh, like to watch movies. The two, Bridget and Miguel. Yes. Ah, uh, the two live in Miguel. Chalatenango. No, no, the two like to watch you know, movies on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Miguel like to watch uh, Star Wars. Uh, Brigitte uh, like to watch Netflix, uh, HBO, HBO uh, and others. Uh, Miguel live in Chalatenango, Brigitte. Uh, I think live in uh, in Salvador, I think. Okay, all right. That oh. is all. Excellent, excellent. It's good you are paying attention. Wonderful. Let's take a look at one more. Um, Natalie, tell me about your partner, 
Edith and Marvin. And well, the Mar the Marvin is go out getting very late. <laughs> okay, okay. But to uh, Dina, uh, we talk about the traffic, <laughs> traffic in San Salvador <laughs> is very terrible, and we talk about the that show. Uh, she works in the optic. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right great that's the idea remember the idea for english is to be functional not to answer questions you want to be functioned that you can talk normal conversation go to the doctor go to the pharmacy go to the supermarket go to a restaurant and have a normal conversation today we're going to continue the topic from yesterday which is the being problems. Remember yesterday we were trying to give uh, problems and solutions. Today we're going to continue with solutions to problems. Okay. Here we have a little bit of a problem for environment. We're going to answer what do they decide to do. Are you able to give solution to problems? Listen to the conversation and find out about the problem Carla and Andy talk about and what solutions they come up with. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then, another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no! My uncle is one of their top executives! What do Andy and Carla decide? Okay. First, before we get to what do they decide, let's take a moment here. Are there any words, any vocabulary that you don't know how to pronounce or the meaning? What is the meaning of the pumping? What is the meaning? Pumping. 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 <laughs> Uh -huh. Pumping is like with your heart. Your heart pump blood. Pump blood in your body. So the chemicals, the factory here in the picture, the, the here, you see the green? They pump. They pump chemicals into the river. Mm. Do you see the picture, Nat? Yes. Okay. So the from the factory, they push, 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 push. And the chemical green here, the chemical into the river. This is pumped. Similar, mm -hmm. similar push. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other vocabulary? We're okay. All right, let's listen to the conversation. What happens next? What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Did you listen to the entire conversation? If you did, 
Tell me what Carla and Andy decide to do. Okay. So what did Carla and Andy decide to do? Play the picture, teacher. Okay. Let's listen one more time. Listen one more time. What do they decide to do? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take see how bad the situation is several weeks to see what exactly absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the absolutely. The best before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay. So, what are they going what did they decide to do? Like an investigation first and okay. to have a uh, like um, uh, so mm -hmm. like a, an investigation like, yes that's right uh -huh, like investigation and take photos and take some water examples okay good exactly they are going to have photos and they're going to have samples of the water they're going to monitor the situation. And then what happens if they have a, if they see it's a problem? Then what are they going to do? Teacher, I think in meeting with the representation of the company. Correct, Emerson. They're going to have a meeting with the representative, representative of the company. Okay, great. So in this moment, what are we going to do? We are going to practice this conversation, Carla and Andy, okay? And then the other partner, Andy and Carla. If we take a look here, we can see when the conversation begins, just about. A town that's pumping chem. Okay, we see here, it begins at 12 seconds. Just look at all those. And it takes up to here. Hey. What's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. Okay. So, as we can see, it takes approximately 40 seconds. We have 40 seconds for the conversation. So, you and your partners, you and your partners are going to practice, and you want to present the conversation in 50 seconds maximum. You want to be able to speak in 50 seconds, all of the conversation, less than a minute. Okay, watch your time, check the time, 50 seconds to practice the fluency of the conversation. The conversation is in WhatsApp and it's also in the platform. We're only going to have a few minutes to practice, but first we want to make sure it's clear. Yes. We have to read that and practice with the partners. Correct. And the objective is to improve the fluency. So the idea is to read and act quickly. Use the correct intonation. So as an example, no correct. No correct. Look at all those. No, not correct. The correct with your partner, look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? The idea is continuous. Try to go 
normal, like a normal conversation with your partner with the reading. Okay. Any questions or it's clear? It's clear. It's clear. It's Excellent. Clear. Okay. Let's try. Perfect. Let's try it then. Let's see if we can get it.
All right. Good. Any questions before we begin practicing and showing? Yes, I have a question. Yes. How can I pronounce this word? Uh, okay, let's check. Management. Management. Correct. Management. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you pronounce? Executive. Teacher. Good. Executive. What? Executive. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So in the last sentence, it has an S, so it's executives, executives. Okay, who is the first group? Who's going to be the first group? I would like to try. Of course, and who was your partner? I can do. Uh huh. Okay. Go ahead. Let's see. One Carla and one Andy. Try. It. Okay. Mm. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of company ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company manager. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad pub publicity. By, by the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh no, my uncle is one of their top executives. Well, very nice job. Good pronunciation for both of you. Very well. The area that we have to improve the most is the fluency. I recommend reading more and reading out loud to get faster and more natural. But very nice job. Only the fluency a little bit more. Great. The next volunteers, who's the next volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. And who was your partner? Mm -hmm. I can. I can try. Of course. There we go. Okay. Me teacher. <laughs> oh, oh, I was wondering. Yeah, who was Emerson. Yeah. Uh huh. Who? Yeah. No, you get What do Andy? Imagine and you practice with your partner. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Andy and Carla. You are Carla. Oh, oh sorry. I'm Andy. Oh me. Oh me, Carla. <laughs> yes, sir. <Don't worry. laughs> you start. Really? Okay. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there is a factory on site to that pumping chemical into the river. How can they do that? It's in that again, the, the law. Yes, it is, but a lot of company in order to love. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, well, one thing to do about this is to talk to company ma manager. 
What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story you know, um, in it, on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By, by the way, what's the name of this company? It's called the Apex Industry. Oh no, my uncle is one of their top ex executive, executive. No sé cómo se dice. It's okay. Very good, very good. Executive. Yeah, executive. executives. 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 Wonderful, wonderful. Hey, thank hey. you so much. Good, very nice. Only the last part, the last word, only mispronounced. But the others, very good. All Thanks. Right. Well, I see we are ready. We have the idea, the conversation. Let's go on to the next topic. Here we have today's topic is infinitive clauses and phrases remember infinitive clauses is to and the verb to and the verb but in this moment we're going to see some examples this time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions pay attention and take notes infinitive clauses and phrases one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more for these problems? Remember to do it on our discussion box. Okay, so it's super easy. What is why the is AIDS are to do more? We only use three expressions. We use the expressions one thing, another way, or the best ways, or the best way can be singular also. So in El Salvador, we have a lot of different situations, right? We have many problems, many good things, and many things can be improved. So the idea is to express your opinion. For example, okay. I live in Santa Tecla, and there is a lot of noise from Paseo El Carmen. What can I do? Mm. One thing to do, one thing to talk about, one thing, to, and that's the idea. We use those expressions to complete with your ideas or your suggestions. Or okay? research and educate. Very common. One thing to do about it is to... Uh, to live farther away. Or oh, one thing to do is to call come. Okay. The best way to solve the problem is to. This is the idea. So let's try. Elvis, can you give me one problem in El Salvador? Any problem? What problem? Um the what problem in, El, in El Salvador. The, the pollution. The pollution. Okay. Well, the best way to stop pollution in El Salvador is to regulate the cars and not to allow new cars to be imported to El Salvador. Oh. I think another thing is to create electric cars only to reduce the pollution. That's it. Is my opinion and then what? One more time, I'm going to share with you the screen. Remember the expression, one thing, another way, or the best way, okay? It's the same, you can use other expressions, but these are the ones that we have today as well, okay? So for example, I think, I believe, I feel a great way, a good way, a nice way, a good thing to do, one, 
you can use other expressions, but we are not, we are going to use the infinitive to solve the problems. Okay, so here we have many problems. You can see with our partners, they have many different activities that are very important around the world. With your partner, you are going to decide the best sentence to complete it. If you don't know the vocabulary, search, search, search. Search in Google, check the translator, make sure that you get it. So with your partner, 2.10, we have six sentences and we have five minutes to complete. Five minutes for the six sentences. Any question is clear the instructions? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. It's Excellent. Clear. Dulce, are you okay? Are you having some problems? Dulce. Dulce López.
Okay, let's take a look. Teacher. Yeah. We we will have classes tomorrow. No, we will not have classes tomorrow. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I see Eric crying. Hi, hi. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, because uh, <laughs> the other the other teacher that I had, uh, we we have classes on Friday. Yo so creo que usted I... dijo ayer que si vamos a tener clases estos dos viernes. Two Fridays, yes, uh, but not this Friday. Friday yeah. Next Friday. Is the next Friday? No, vamos a tener Take clases. Easy, Emerson. La semana vamos a tener clases el viernes que no tenemos clase durante los horarios normal. Por ejemplo, el primero de mayo, lunes, no hay <coughs> clases. Entonces vamos a repetir ese viernes. El día de la madre, el 10 de mayo, esa semana no hay clases. Vamos a reponerla ese mismo viernes. Reponemos la clase el misma semana para no confundirnos de esta debemos, esta no. En la misma semana se repone para no estar preocupados. El teacher que yo tenía, aunque no, aunque no hubiéramos faltado, siempre teníamos clase los viernes. Mm. <risa> ah, era porque no tenía los videos, quizás. Uh -huh. Dice que era obligación de los viernes. Mm. Sí, o sea, si, si tenemos que reponer clases, sí es obligación el viernes, pero no es, o sea, no es que no nosotros... Pero... No, no, no faltamos sí, ni un día. Teacher, perdone, perdone si hablo en español, pero nosotros en el módulo, hace dos módulos atrás, tuvimos una persona que no subía los videos, entonces Inglés Corporativo nos obligó a tener dos, dos clases de viernes aparte de las que habíamos repuesto. Ah, ok. Sí, déjame explicarle eso. Y eso, sí es, eso sí es cierto. Eso sí es. Y ahí el ticho que tuvieron... Él tuvo que regalar esas horas de trabajo y no se las pagaron a él. El, el, la regulación se dice que todas las clases para ser cobradas o tomadas como impartidas tienen que haber un video completo. Si mi computadora no lo graba, si hay algún problema con Zoom, si se va, cual, si yo no la subo, sea lo que sea, pero si no está ahí, para auditoría de Insafor es como que si no la di y la tengo que volver a dar. Por eso es que tal vez en esas ocasiones fuera una obligación las clases los viernes. Pero en el caso mío, yo ahorita termino, no me duermo antes de subirlo porque prefiero estar seguro que ah, yo... Excelente, teacher. Clase, Thank you, teacher. Hey. <ríe> Perdón el momento de español, pero sí, eso, ustedes a los 20 minutos, en lo que se tarda en subir el video, pueden meterse ahí cualquier día y van a ver que las clases ya están subidas porque ahí sí no. Y no es porque no quiera y no quiero estar, pero honestamente no quiero estar viniendo los viernes. <ríe> Money, 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 money. Stand here, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Friday is karaoke night. Yeah, ah, bueno, karaoke night. I like Elvis. Yes. For me, it's whiskey night. Pero cada quien lo suyo va. Ah. It's beer night. <laughs> good job, good job. Uh, yes, yes. Excellent teacher. Ex okay. Now, Bucana. let's check. Let's check. Number one. Who has number one? To train people in modern farming methods. Oh, okay. People in good. Okay. What about number two? Who has number two? To educate. To... Uh, sorry. <laughs> to educate people on the street. Okay. Great. Number three. To probably wait for the people to voice their concert. Okay, great. Number four. To develop greener public transportation. Mm, okay, nice. Number five. To start free vocation training program. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Like in El Salvador. In El Salvador, this is this they have now. Mm -hmm. It's okay, the idea, vocational. It's, it's okay, the idea, vocational training programs. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like I, this one. Yeah. Yes, this is one like this one. Yeah, actually, this is one. Mm -hmm. Is very typical electricity mechanic. This is the other vocational. Great, and number six. To build more public housing. To build more public housing. Okay, this in El Salvador doesn't exist, but <laughs> maybe maybe with the Bitcoin for free in the future. <laughs> 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 okay, let's look. Very nice. Excellent answers. Excellent answers. Okay, as you can see, all the answers are correct. Okay. Any questions for the vocabulary? Any questions about the answers? No. Uh, teacher, what is what is family? Famine is like not normal in El Salvador, but is normal in Africa. No food, no corn, no beans, nothing. It's a famine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. A lot of hungry teacher. Yes, very good. Good idea. Very hungry. Very hungry. Mm -hmm. Any other vocabulary or words? Homeless. Homeless. Great. Excellent question. Homeless is in when the person doesn't have a house. When the person, no house. No house in the street. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to I have to be clear because in El Salvador is different. In El Salvador, homeless normally, no. In El Salvador, homeless usually is for alcoholic, drugs, something. In the United States, no. In the United States, no homeless for drugs. Homeless for money. For example, if you remember the movie, Will Smith. Will Smith, homeless, but no alcohol, no drug. The man worked hard, hard, hard. But in the United States, no money for the house. So it's different because the concept in El Salvador, oh, is homeless. Ah, alcohol, drugs, cocaine. But in the United States, is not, is not many, many people homeless, economic, and sleep in the car, sleep in the street. It's very sad. Mm -hmm. It's okay, the idea of homeless? Yes. yes. Okay. Teacher. For example, teacher, the people who live in, in a van or a car. Yes, yes. Very good, Raquel. Like in the YouTube, sometimes people say van life. I romanticize. Mm -hmm. mm, romanticize to fling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Teacher, it develop. 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 Oh, okay. Good. Develop is... For example, Apple. Apple developed the iPhone, okay? Mm -hmm. Sony developed the PlayStation. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, develop to grow. Mm -hmm. you, Thank you, you. You, in this class, develop your English. It's like improve. Similar improve, but to grow. Similar to grow, improve and grow or create. Mm -hmm. And Spanish is desarrollar. It is correct. I love your Spanish. You are amazing. <laughs> Innovate, sir. Similar, similar. But no. It, yes, yes. Actually, yes. A little bit like innovate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to go to the last part. Amazing today. We are exactly on time. Today we finish unit two. Here we have a reading. The reading 2.11. We're going to read and first. Maybe today we don't have time to answer the questions, but yes, to read, okay? We have many paragraphs. Who would like to read the first paragraph? 
and me. Oh, thank you very much, Natalie. Well, the pronunciation uh, is Kiribati. Kiribati. Yes. The people of Kiribati uh, are afraid that one day in the near future, their country will disappear, literally. Several times in the past few years, the Pacific Island nation has been flooded by sudden high tides. These tides which set with swift across the island and destroying houses came when there were was neither wind nor rain. The older citizens of Kairbari say this has never happened before. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Good. Any vocabulary? Tides. Repeat. For these tides. Ah, uh -huh. tides. In the tide. <coughs> in the tide. The water. The tides. In the tide. El puerto. The people surf. They go to surf, and they want big tides. They want big, big waves. Ah. Uh -huh. It's a cinnamon waves. It's a cinnamon waves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And flooded. Flooded. A lot of water and the water in the floor. Do, 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 do. Flooded. Afraid, teacher. Repeat. Afraid. Afraid, afraid, afraid. The second line. Are second afraid. Line. Afraid. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Afraid. Afraid. Synonym. Scared. Like Halloween, <gasps> afraid. Mm -hmm. Teacher is citizens, citizens. Citizens, you yes. and me, citizens of El Salvador. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't understand citizen. Citizen is the, the legal, the legal residency. For you vote. Know. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not watch. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the citizen. So many. Not is the brand. <laughs> not is a brand. Not is a plant. No, no, no. The the citizens is the people of the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example. And the swept. Swept is complete. Mm -hmm. Completely take. Mm -hmm. What is tides? Tides, the synonym waves. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's read the next paragraph. Who would like to read the next paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you. Please read. Um, Kiribati consists of 33 Iceland sculptory. Across two thousand eight hundred sixty kilometers, well, two thousand four hundred miles of the Pacific Ocean near the Ecuador. They are uh, um, particularly driven by high tides because name of the island of Kiribati rise more than two meters, 6.5 feet above sea level. Thank you very much. Only the pronunciation, equator. Equator. Thank you, good. Any words you don't know? Britain. What is threatened? Mm, like if you are, if you have, if I want your cell phone, I have a gun and I say, give me, give me, give me your, give me your oh, cell phone, give me the money. I, I threaten you. Threaten, okay. Here in this context, the water threatened, the water threatened the islands. Hmm. What about this word? Repeat which word? 
I send the word. Ah, let me check the chat. Thank you. Uh, scattered. Thank you very much. Pronunciation, scattered. What is? Scattered is, is in a lot of space. So the islands are not close. The islands are not close. The islands are scattered in, in many space. If we look at the map, look, here island, here island, here. The islands are in a big space. This is scattered. Okay. Okay. Any other vocabulary? No? Okay. Let's see. In this moment, we are going to read one more paragraph. One more, just to help us a little bit. Who is going to read the next paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you. What is causing these mysterious tides? The answer may be a global warming. When tools like oil and coal are burned, they release uh, pollutants that trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere. Rising temperatures create more water by milling glaciers and polar ice caps. Great, very nice. Any only the pronunciation fuels when fuels. Good. Any words you don't know? Please repeat. Pollutants, teacher. Pollutants. Pollutant. Pollutants. Uh, the thing that is bad for the environment. Oil or um, carbon monoxide. These are the pollutants. Okay. Any other words? <clears throat> Melting? Melting. Eric, is this word right here, yeah. melting? Yes. yes, melting, like the ice cream. When you eat ice cream and it's hot, the ice cream melts. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we are going to pause right there. Thank you for connecting everyone. Thank you for participating. The most important is participate. The more you participate, the more you improve your English. If you speak a little, the English improve a little. You speak a lot, your English improve a lot. So thank you very much. And we have a good weekend. And I see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Good night. Okay. Good night. 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 Good